Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible one chapter at a time. I'm writing a short devotional thought on each chapter of the Bible, and then I'm sharing that with you. And today we're in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Does the Bible give practical wisdom for our everyday lives? <laughs> Absolutely it does. So listen to Paul teach in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 9 to 12, and I read, Now concerning brotherly love, you have no need for anyone to write to you, for you yourselves have been taught by God to love one another, for that indeed is what you are doing to all the brothers throughout Macedonia. But we urge you, brothers, to do this more and more and to aspire to live quietly and to mind your own affairs and to work with your own hands as we instructed you, so that, always pay attention to the so that's, so that you may walk properly before outsiders and be dependent on no one, end quote. Wow. So let me give you four, four practical points of advice Paul gives us on how we are to walk or live the Christian life. All right, first, be healthy in your relationships. The proof of our love and faith in God is how we love and forgive one another. <laughs> the purity of our brotherly love, verse 9, is the evidence of our sanctification. Check out verse 3. Wow. Okay, second thing. Focus your life's message. Focus. When we, quote, live quietly, verse 11, we are not hiding our light under a bushel. Rather, we're focusing our life on the light of the gospel. Let's be clear about this. Living quietly is not hiding your light under the bushel. It's focusing your life on the gospel. We are turning down all the other ambient light of our lives so that the people see and hear from us is Jesus. Focus. Three, be emotionally healthy. <laughs> There's quite a few people in the church who have a high IQ but a low EQ. We need emotional intelligence. That's what EQ stands for. God cares that we, quote, mind our own affairs, verse 11. Being a gossip, okay? And we know the church is full of gossips, and many leaders and pastors are gossips too. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus, okay? We don't need to know lots of information about what's going on in people's lives to effectively pray for them. Prayer meetings and prayer guides and prayer chains are not an excuse to be a gossip, people. Th that kind of way of life, that mentality distracts you and detracts from your witness and from your ability to live out God's will for your life. Remember, God's will is your what? Your sanctification, your holiness, right? Okay, number four. Okay, we got to work with a purpose. Work is divine. Work is from God. Work is before the fall, okay, work is not a part of the fall. Anxious toil is part of the fall, but work, divine work, that's what God's called you to, all right? The ability to work with your hands, verse 11, is a gift from God, and he cares that whatever you do, you do your work with your whole heart to his glory. Okay, Paul teaches us that we are to follow these four teachings, quote, so that we may walk properly before outsiders and not be dependent on anyone. It's all for his glory, friends. It's all for his glory. Seize the moment and shine his light by the way you live your everyday lives. Seize the moment.